Okay, let's talk about juicing while you're doing keto or while you're doing fasting. Is it okay? Is it not okay? Now, if you're doing keto or intermittent fasting and you're just not seeing the results that you would like, or you have some type of problem with that, let's say, for example, you just have cravings like crazy, well, then we have to evaluate what you are eating during the fast and what you're eating when you're doing keto. So typically when you fast, you shouldn't be eating anything except you're drinking water, but I recommend doing supplements. Uh, I don't recommend uh, doing any juice at all. Um, on occasion, if you're doing a prolonged fast, I think it's okay to do the whole vegetable. Let's say you're doing celery or maybe even kale because you're having the fiber, um, but not necessarily just the juice because the phytonutrients in these vegetables can actually help enhance the benefit of your intermittent fasting. But when it comes down to juicing, um, here's a couple things you need to know. Let's say, for example, you were to juice celery. And I'm going to take one cup for each one of these. Now, if you're from some European country like Germany, for example, and you are not using cups as your measurements, you're going to have to look them up. And specifically, I'm talking to the gentleman named Dennis who asks, who brought up the point I should have my own conversion tables. But in this video, you're going to have to do your own conversions, Dennis, okay? All right, so take a look at this. Celery, one cup, 3.5 grams of carbs. Okay, so now we have carrots, 9.5 grams of carbs, and then kale, 6.7 grams of carbs. So you can see carrots have the most carbs. Now, you're not consuming the fiber, so you can't deduct the fiber from the total carbs. Let me explain what I'm talking about. Normally, what we would do if you were going to consume celery or carrot or kale is you would take the total carb and minus the fiber, because even though the fiber is a carb, you don't count it into your calculations. You deduct it, and you get the net carb, and this is the figure that you're looking at if you're consuming the fiber with it, the whole thing. But because we're juicing, we don't get to calculate in this fiber part right here. We don't get to uh, minus it. So if we take a look at the celery, which is pretty low, and carrot is pretty high, 9.5 grams of carbs. But realize we're taking a cup of carrots and we're juicing it, which we're going to get a lot less than that cup. Probably just going to get a small amount because we're going to take all the fiber away from it. So, But I'm just using this as a kind of a a standard example. So if you're going to juice, you're probably going to get more than 9.5 grams. But the point is that I wanted to show you the difference between these net carbs. If you consume the whole thing, look at that, 1.9 grams, it's pretty low. This is totally fine. Carrot, 6 grams, it's a little too high. And then kale, which is surprising. You would think it ha would have a lot more fiber. It doesn't that would give you a 5.4 grams net carb. So the carbs in kale, you know, are, are not zero. So here's the point that I'm trying to make. I might be confusing people. You don't want to do juicing unless you're doing some type of juice powder concentrate or some type of green juice that doesn't have these other vegetables that are a little too high. Celery juice is, is a really good one to look at. And you're going to have to look through different vegetables to find which one would give you the least amount of carbs if you're going to do the juice. Um, but I don't recommend doing the juice while you're fasting. Um, but as a part of your meal, I think that would be fine. Unless you do the calculations and it comes down to a very, very small amount, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. You may not get into full ketosis if you're doing it each day. And you may start craving carbs. So anytime someone is doing fasting or keto, and they're still craving, I always look at what they're eating when they're fasting and what they're eating when they stop fasting, and we really look at all the potential areas that you might have carbs. And this is a hidden area that could keep you from fully getting the benefits of keto to the point where you're, you're just going to crave, and then what's going to happen is you're going to go off the program, eat carbs, and then start again and do the whole cycle back and forth. So if you wanted to get rid of the cravings and completely do this right, get rid of the juicing, okay? And you can also take inositol. Inositol is a type of B vitamin, which is a sugar alcohol. Your body makes it, so it's natural. 
and it has some really interesting effects. It's really good for your blood sugars and addressing insulin resistance. In fact, there are certain studies that show that it can work almost the same as metformin, which is for type 2 diabetes. So it helps to improve that insulin resistance situation and anything that's connected to that, which is cravings to carbohydrates. It can also increase your serotonin, which if you have a serotonin deficiency, you might feel stressed and craving carbs. So serotonin as a hormone can help you reduce cravings to carbs. So you could take some of this each day. And also, if they come in a tablet, you can suck on them because they're actually sweet, but they're not sugar. I used to do this in my practice a lot. When someone craved carbs, I would have them take this and then through the day, just suck on them. And um, it gave them the feeling that they're eating sugar, but they weren't eating sugar. And it really helped them in other ways. One last point. When you consume food and you're not satisfied and you still have the need to eat after you eat, it could be that you need bile salts, in which case um, you can get them, take them with the meal, and you'll extract more of the fatty acids from that food to signal the brain to completely turn off the appetite and feel like you're satisfied. Because if you're deficient in bile salts, and that fat is not being fully digested and absorbed, that could be another reason why you keep craving things. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you wanna know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.